outcome of laboratory session. Able to determine the aggregate 10% fines value TPFV, which indicates the physical strength of course aggregates in accordance with the relevant standard. Objective. To determine the aggregate 10% fines value TPFV of course aggregate samples in accordance with BS812 Part 111, 1990. The aggregate samples are first sieved on 14 mm and 10 mm sieves. Only the aggregates passing 14 mm and retain on 10 mm sieves are used. The aggregates are washed if they appear to contain excessive dust. The aggregates are then dried in an oven at 105 plus minus 5 degree for not more than 4 hours and subsequently cooled to room temperature prior to testing. The appropriate quantity of the aggregate samples to be tested is measured by filling the cylindrical measure in three layers. Each layer is tamped with the rounded end of the tamping rod 25 times from a height of 50 mm above the sample. The excess aggregates are leveled off by rolling the tamping rod across the top of the cylindrical measure. The steel cylinder is placed centrally on the top of the base plate and then the aggregate samples are filled into the cylinder in three approximately equal layers. Each layer is tamped 25 times using the tamping rod from a height of about 50 mm above the sample.
The surface of the third layer is leveled and then the plunger is placed on the top of the aggregate. The assembly consisting of base plate, cylinder filled with sample and plunger on the top of the sample is carefully positioned on the lower plate and of the concrete compression machine. An increasing load is applied at a uniform rate until the penetration of the plunger reaches 20 mm within approximately 10 minutes plus minus 30 second for crushed aggregate. The suggested penetration for uncrushed rounded or partially rounded gravels and honeycomb aggregates, for example slag, is 15 mm and 24 mm, respectively. Alternatively, the applied load can be approximated from the AIV based on the following relation, a required force equivalent 4000 divide AIV. The maximum force F applied is recorded. Subsequently, after the force is released, the crushed aggregates are removed from the cylinder by hammering the outside of the cylinder wall so that the aggregates fall freely onto a clean tray. Fine materials adhering to the bottom of the plunger and the inside wall of the cylinder are removed by brushing with the stiff bristle brush. The mass of the crushed materials is recorded as M1. Then the crushed aggregates are sieved passing 2.36 mm sieve for one minute using the sieve shaker. after which the mass of the materials passing M2 and retained M3 are recorded. The difference between the initial mass M1 and the total mass M2 plus M3 is checked. If the difference is more than 10 gram, the results are discarded and a further sample is tested. If the percentage of fines M calculated from M2 divide M1 multiple 100 does not fall within 7.5 to 12.5 percent, a further specimen is tested where the applied load is adjusted so that the fines fall within the range and the M value is recorded. The complete test procedure is repeated on a second sample with the same mass of aggregate and the same force that gives fines value within 7.5 to 12.5 percent. For each test specimen, the force F are required to produce 10 percent of fines is calculated as F equivalent 14 F divide M plus 4.
where F is the maximum force and M is the percentage of materials passing 2.36 mm of at maximum force. The mean of the two results is calculated to the nearest 10 kN for force of 100 kN and greater, or to the nearest 5 kN for force of smaller than 100 kN. The mean is reported as the TPFV unless the individual results differ by more than 10 kN and by more than 0.1 times the mean value. In this case the test is repeated on two further specimens. The median of the four results is calculated to the nearest 10 kN for forces of 100 kN on more, or to the nearest 5 kN for forces of less than 100 kN, and the median of the four results is reported as the 10% fines value TPFV. Results and Discussion Discuss the suitability of the tested aggregate samples for concrete construction application based on the TPFV.